Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example deals with force and power and ultimately they want us to find the velocity as a function of time, the power as a function of time, and the average power for the time period from time equals zero to time equals four seconds. And let's say that the initial velocity v initial is equal to zero. So what is the problem? Well, we have an object with a mass of 2 kilograms and a force acting on the object. And the force is a variable force. It's equal to 24 times t. So as time increases, the force increases. And so they're trying to figure out, or they want us to figure out, the velocity as a function of time, the power applied to the object as a function of time, and the average power for the four, first four seconds. All right, how do we do this? Well, let's start out with F equals MA. That's usually a good place to start, F equals MA. And realizing that the force is a variable force, A can then be written as the change in velocity as a function of time. So in other words, we could say that F is equal to M times dV dt. Because after all, we're trying to find the velocity, which means that we can write that uh, m dv is equal to f times dt. And then if we replace f by what f is equal to, and we divide both sides by m, we can say that dv is equal to 24t dt divided by m. And then if we integrate both sides, we can then say that the integral of dv is equal to 24 over m, but m would be equal to 2, because m is 2 kilograms, so we divide by 2, times the integral of t times dt. And then if we integrate both sides, we get v is equal to 24 divided by 2, which is 12, t squared divided by 2, plus a constant of integration. But remember, when t is equal to 0, velocity is equal to 0. So the constant of integration drops off, so we can say that this is equal to 6t squared. So we have our first answer, the, the velocity as a function of time. So v as a function of time is equal to 6t squared. All right. Now we need to find power. Now power, well, let's see here. We know that power, by definition, is equal to uh, work over time, and work is equal to force times distance over time, and distance over time is velocity, so this would be force times velocity. Now notice that the force is a function of time, and velocity is a function of time, and we're trying to find power as a function of time, which means that this is the right equation. So we can say that power as a function of time is equal to the force, which is equal to 24t multiplied times the velocity, which is 6t squared. So in other words, the power as a function of time is equal to 24 times 6, that's 120, plus uh, 24, that would be 144t cubed. There we go. There is our second answer. But now we need the final answer, the average power for the first four seconds. So how do we find the average of anything? Well, what we can do is we can find the area underneath the curve and divide it by the width. In other words, if I draw a graph, and on the vertical axis I have power, and on the horizontal axis I have time, that curve, this curve right here, would look something like this. And let's say that uh, <clears throat> this would be the power after four seconds, so if we come down here, so this would be 4 seconds, this would be 0, so that would be in terms of seconds, and of course power would be in terms of watts. So to find the average power for the first 4 seconds, what I need to do is I need to find the area need the curve and divide it by the width. So we can say that power average is equal to the integral of the power from 0 to 4 divided by the time 4 minus 0. That would be the width, the horizontal width of that graph. So that means that this is equal to the integral from 0 to 4 
of 144 t cubed dt, and of course I need to multiply this times dt, all divided by 4. So this is equal to 144 t to the fourth divided by 4 times 4, because we divide by the new exponent times 4. So this is equal to, oh, we have to evaluate from 0 to 4. So this is equal to 144 divided by 16. 16, that would be 9. That would be 9 times t to the fourth power, actually. That would be 4 to the fourth power minus 0. So we can plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. So 16 goes into 144 9 times. We have t to the fourth power evaluated from 0 to 4, so that's 4 to the fourth power, which is 16 times 16, which is 256. So this is equal to 9 multiplied times 256. That would be 2560 minus 256. Well, let's get a calculator. That makes it easier. So 256 times 9, 2304 watts. So this is equal to 2304 watts. That would be the average power over the first four seconds. And so there's the answers. It wasn't that easy, was it? We started out with an object made of two kilograms being pushed by a variable force of 24t. We first wanted to find the velocity, so we use F equals ma, but a can be written as dv dt, and f, of course, is 24t. So we solve that through integration. Then we need to find the instantaneous power, which is a function of time. And it's simply work over time. Work is force times distance, and distance over time is velocity. So it's the force times velocity. The force 24t, velocity 6t squared. And finally, to find the average, we take the area underneath the curve of this graph. So we integrate 144t cubed. And we divide it by the width, that gives us the average power. So this would be average power. <clears throat> Simply the area underneath the curve divided by the width, so divided by 4. And that gives us the average power for the first 4 seconds of 2,304 watts. That is how it's done.